So before you walked in, we were actually going over Yasmin's situationship, where she's in a situationship with okay. a, with a long distance situationship with someone in Chicago, mm -hmm. but she's open to dating here as well. Like she's still openly dating, but she does have this ongoing situation. Se sounds complicated. It's not actually. But it's actually it's not, not complicated. complicated. It's not it sounds complicated. complicated. It's not. No. no, no. She's on. She's in a, a in a Tehran situation. Uh, <laughs> so, so the situation ship. Are there feelings involved? Well, no. I don't think it's feelings. Is just so weird when you when you say the word feelings, you just get mushy. There's drama attached to the word. There's Sadness. So much, Do you get yeah. jealous? No, no, I don't. Does no, he get jealous? I mean, if he's here and he probably he actually likes guys looking at me. So. I don't know if that's a jealousy thing or more of a dominance. Is it jealousy or is it disrespect? And that's the thing. Is it like, do you, uh, if a guy acts, reacts towards you, that's, and I get mad at that, that's jealousy. But if she reacts back, now I feel like I'm not jealous. That's disrespectful. Well, she reacted to your jealousy? No, she reacted to the guy reacting to her. So if she gives him a feeling uh -huh. that it's okay to do this, okay. I feel like that's disrespectful. I'm not jealous she's doing that. Where I'm, is that line, though? That's such a thin line. How do you define that? Well, that's the thing, right? How do you define that? So it's like a, a look exchange, and then she actually smiles if he looks at her? Or what? what is it? Or maybe she enjoys the attention. I see. So what you're saying is if... The person you're with reacts to that attention that's disrespectful it doesn't matter okay. that the attention happens how would you feel you're out you're out with your girl yes you're out with a girl yes and guy hits on girl and girl gives guy instagram girl is oh, ex girl yeah, that's too much uh, girl is ex girl it's that's done. ex girl yeah it's that's done. too much but what about the the feeling of hey we're in the the business of getting followers we're in the business of getting likes it depends so you said hits on and now you're like oh it's like here's my info hit me up see or if it's more of hey you do film stuff as well right. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, conversation but that's yeah. the thing everyone here does film stuff so the conversation is always look blurry lines i see what you're saying when we go to blurry lines i'm guy i see pretty girl am i friendly with her or am i hitting on her now that's a blurry line yeah, but how is she normally? Is she normally the type of person that is social and talks to people and is like, yo, I'm going to be on the radio tomorrow. Check me out, you know? Or is she someone that's timid and quiet and then all of a sudden decides to give her Instagram out? Mm. See, so that intent, mm, that intent, intent, that that's intent. That's what I buy my decision. When I heard the hitting on, I, I, the underlying issue, as Teron said, I think was the intent there. So I was like, okay. But now if it's in your personality and you're networking. Right. Then are we being shot? <laughs> no, we're not being shot. If you hear this banging, there's construction going on uh, above the you. studio right now. So they're building more to build more. Someone's trying to get in. We need to understand intent. And that's why we play this game on the show called Either Or, where we try to get to know our guests a little better okay. by asking them questions, either or. Yes. Yeah, so now, you have to and then we analyze it. We we kind of psychoanalyze it and judge you, babe. Not really judge you. Just, <laughs> no, I judge. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, but the either or is the concept is you have to pick one. There's no you don't have to encourage you to pick one. Right. It's kind There's of like no a would you between. rather situation. Exactly. Okay. We encourage exactly. you because that's the rules, but we also don't want to force anyone without their consent. Exactly. So, <laughs> either or, George. Either or, online dating or online di dating and the person's close to you, or long distance with someone you know. That's tough. Um, long distance with someone you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think because if they're online, you don't really know them. They could be weird. They can be stage five clinger. You never know. Um, so there's always a way to get away when they're long distance, even if you do know them. Psychoanalysis. I think that you're running away from relationships. <laughs> it may be something that deep down inside you want, but as a creator, producer, actor, director... You enjoy this creative bubble. So the reason why you're running away from a relationship is not because you're so opposed to relationship. It's because you require a space around you in order to function properly in your craft. And when someone comes into that bubble and tries to boop and make the bubble pop, it throws you into somewhat of a frenzy. So you enjoy that space between your love and your first love, which is the craft. Interesting. Mm, very interesting. interesting. I, I, on the other hand, found it that she actually prefers intimate interactions. 
mm-hmm. where she likes the subtle art of of actually knowing someone rather than simply just thinking you know someone. She prefers loyalty over mm. all other traits. Mm-hmm. And also, I feel like she's been catfished in real life <laughs> by real people to her face. So she does not like that. Mm-hmm. That is an abhorrent behavior to her. So she hates backstabbing. She hates when people talk shit about other people because she'll feel like if they talk shit about someone else, they're going to talk shit about her. Mm-hmm. And she sees that trait and does not like unloyalty at all. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for him, Johnny? That's how I roll. Why didn't I get a ding? Because Because he was right. And I was just wrong? You were absolutely wrong. Why are you still surprised by this every week? Oh, my gosh. Like, it's it's okay. All right, Teron, your turn. Nah, yours was good. It was good. Um, Yeah. George has a habit of just trying to say everything. Am I wrong? (laughs) Am I wrong or are you just in denial? No, no, no. You you could be wrong. There's 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 things about your statement that are right. I do love my craft, but it's not that I need this bubble around me. I'm okay with letting people penetrate. Fine, then move back to Chicago. Yeah, I'm glad you're. <laughs> she doesn't live in Chicago, but I don't. I'm glad and to I'm know not moving to Chicago. that you're okay with letting people <laughs> penetrate. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Um, whips or chains? Oh wow! Um, I would have to say whips, probably. Interesting. Yeah, I would have to say George. Whips. Yeah. Well, my right answer is that uh, you enjoy not being bound. And I'm going to stick with my first instinct. I think there's something deeper I was poking at in your subconscious. See, the chains are a symbol of being tied down and being bound to something. And I think you strike me as a very individual, free person. And you don't like the concept of being bound. You actually are in your prime form, okay? Prime form of life when you are free. I like okay. that. I like that. I don't answer. disagree with what you said, yeah. but... I'm going to take it a little step further. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and I'm going to say that she understands that in, in many ways, pain is pleasure and, and, and pressure busts pipes. And she enjoys uh, being strong because she is a very strong person. She also is a strong person in life. Like in a lot of times, she's an alpha. However, she likes a guy that knows how to put her in check the right way. And that's something that she actually finds attractive in a man. And it's a subtle thing. It's not It's not overbearing. It's not something that's like, I'm over you. It's more of a, a, a intellectual uh, putting someone in check. It's someone of like a bit of control. It's like she's always used to ordering. So she enjoys a person who can order for her and knows when to do so. So you're just on fire today, no. Tehran. Oh, wait, wait, let me on. do it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you're so right, Tehran. <laughs> it's well, a silence for George. Yeah. He is absolutely right about that. I mean, there is this individual aspect of myself that you brought up that you're right about. Yeah. But I am always the one in control when it comes to work, when it comes to family, taking care of A through Z. So when I come home, I don't want any of that control. Uh-huh. I just want to let George. We don't hang out on a like daily no, yeah. you, at all. You two are probably best nah, friends. Not even. I, <laughs> you're probably the best I friend. I think I've already talked about this once or twice. On yeah, no, I feel like we, he's, she's like, "Yo, ask this." Yeah. All, right. all right, let's let's hear this either or. Shawarma or burrito. <laughs> oh my god, I'm that's a good call. Someone. That's a good call. Um, Shawarma that's a really burrito. good one. I'm gonna go with burrito. Strong, burrito. strong. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Uh, my analysis is that you betray your own people. If you, <laughs> she's a traitor to her race. If you have a group of friends and there's like money to be made, you're the first to leave the group of friends and make the money and not tell them. Now you're just going the wrong also, way completely. You're a horrible person, George. You're almost there. Just yeah. turn around a little bit. Yeah. Actually, I, I would say she's the opposite way. She would definitely make money for everyone in her circle and she takes them with her. But the reason why she takes burrito over uh, shawarma, and I'll say this, and I'm going to throw this out there, is because she has a little bit of uh, an adventurous side, a side that she's willing to take kind of maybe a risk or two on, like, to go outside of the comfort zone. And that's a very distinct and uh, a, a very rare trait in people, to go outside of their comfort zone and be willing to do so knowingly. I think she also just knows what she likes. And when she likes something, it, it won't matter to her what other people think because what she ultimately thinks of herself matters the most. My brother, the shawarma is more <laughs> exotic than the burrito. Yeah, maybe. Actually, it's way more simple than that. It, I just like the way burritos taste. Shawarmas are like, eh, whatever. I grew up with my mom cooking Persian See, food. See, it's always so it's there. Like, so now she wants a little of the extra. Yeah. That's why 
things are simple, but simple things are indicative of much more complex <laughs> things. It's to me, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I maybe maybe we can it. get a feel of who you are with your crush. So every week we kind of want to know who your crush is in in something that might pertain to you. This week we have. This is a director crush. What oh. director do you have a crush on? Oh wow. Well, if you would have asked me this a few years ago, I would have probably brought up my ex. I was dating a director. Um, but are we talking about craft or are we talking about just... However you want However to you interpret. Oh, man. Um, well, I would probably have to say director-wise... I mean, I'm a big Scorsese girl, so I'm always going to have a huge crush on Scorsese. Scorsese no matter what. I like that he battles between like religion and this world that he's constantly shooting. Yeah. Um, I think that there's a lot of passion. depth with him and a lot of passion. And you, yeah, you get to have some. I think if I sat and spoke to him one day, lovely afternoon, I'm not going to want anything else except for him. Uh, <laughs> what's our popping or stopping? This is a style that pertains to men or something, a trend that men do, and we want to know your opinion on. Yeah, we need to know if men should continue this trend or stop it, okay, based on your expert opinion. Okay. And that is editing and or filtering, face-tuning your photos. Oh, face-tuning. I, face like I like that. I like that. Face-tuning. <laughs> should, uh, should guys face-tune? Does stop this, it immediately. Stop it. Right now. Yesterday. That's ridiculous. But girls do it and it's okay. I don't even think girls should do it. I think that that's just crazy. I mean, we live in this world now where we have to be perfect. That's bullshit. Nobody's perfect. Mm. And people are going to see you in real life. So what are you really covering up here? So uh, this is the second time you attack me on the show. And I will stop face tuning. <laughs> okay. Because I, I, I Do you face you. tune? I don't do know you? if you do. I, I do. I don't use the face tune. What I do sometimes is like the other day, my jean shade was different than my jean jacket. Okay. So I made them match in Photoshop. See, the fact that you actually know how to do that, that's, that's amazing. You, you I want to give you a high five. Can I give you a high five? Are you going to take that? it back? Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a sincere high but five. But I don't think that it's necessary. Yeah, always be careful when they when they, uh, when they they give you the compliment first. <laughs> they're about to undercut I know, and undercut whatever you're We like to, to butter yeah. before we give you the yeah, burnt Yeah, Teron toast. does the same thing. I'm used to this abuse. Here's the thing. Uh, you know, I... I I am torn on this, and I'll tell you why. I don't Facetune, okay? However, looking at other people's Instagrams, maybe the fuck I should. <laughs> I'm really not as good looking as I used to think I was. Yeah. Like, people are looking amazing, and you want to keep up with the Joneses because we're in this business where it matters. Now, I, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to make something match, for example. Yeah. But then again... Uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should be more. I, I also usually wear a bathrobe when I go everywhere. You, you got to kind of keep up with the, with the standard. The standard now is edited. So if you're unedited, you look that much worse. Teron and I have a friend named Greg. Okay, mm -hmm. Greg was on the gram. Greg saw a lady he really liked, and he flew her in to LA. And when, <laughs> when oh bro, and, and when the woman arrived, yo, she not was the, this the, girl. When the woman arrived. Oh my god. Uh, arrived, he was she, like, she's so bad. She went on, she's he my went on the gram and showed us pictures. And I was like, eh, I think that's like an angle, bro. Because she was like always hitting the same angle. But she that looked cute angle. She looked really cute in the picture. Then Vince showed up at LAX and he went to go pick her up and was like, he was like, yo, I can't find her. I can't find her. She says she's here. I can't find her. No. She was there the whole time, like no. right in front of his car. Yeah. No. Yeah. And, um, and so look nothing like I was the dying. So Greg was, <laughs> so Greg was so disappointed. Did he leave, though? But here's the thing. Nah, no, picked Greg, Greg picked her up and paid. He paid Dog, her. if you fly so, a girl in, yeah, listen, there's stuck. a conversation. Like, it's not even stuck. Like, you, think it, guys, you think people wouldn't do that? Listen, I know from, people. If it's done. enough of a catfish, they would bounce. And it was from Canada, so she was flying in from another country okay so here, here's the thing you still though. got a hit like if i'm flying you in like yo we're having a conversation now we're, if you am like yeah, you yo. gotta pay for the food the calories <laughs> yo, it gets expensive. Like, so, so the, the thing calories. so the thing with greg right it, greg would have never actually on the other hand right on the other hand greg would have never given this person a chance if it weren't for the face to him. so in a way face to him kind of so what happened did they stay together they did it but okay. they had a chance to meet. They actually became like cordial. I had okay. a lot of, and, and I know that. So not even friends, just cordial. Cordial acquaintances, <laughs> and um, the was thing, she that unattractive? When I she, saw her, bro, she was a little, she was a little like. 
Uh, all right, enough enough about Greg. <laughs> we have we have some more important things. There's no words to address. No, I'm that. just saying. But you know what? Here's one thing I like about George. George gives every girl an equal opportunity. George is a good-looking guy. You know what I'm saying? He could okay. be really uh, choosy, mm -hmm. but he actually really will talk. <laughs> Hold to on, girls. this was Greg, not George. Yeah, yeah. You just flipped the script on him. No, I, I was talking about you in uh, general. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you just told on yourself. No, I didn't tell yeah. on That was all I didn't you. I didn't anything. say anything, bro. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Yo. Look, if you George need to cover like, something up, mm -hmm. like if you got a little rough last night, you got some bruises or something mm -hmm. going on, you need to cover it up, by all means, face tune, you know? But to just do that to every it's picture, stopping. it's... I've always been like, it's stopping, but then when, um, I don't know, I, I just... Yeah, I think it's stopping too, bro. Stopping? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, if I was on my foul hut, I don't know, bro. I don't know what I have to do. Um, okay. We're going to ask a question from a listener. Everyone emails us okay. and questions, and we randomly select yeah, one. Up. Let's do it. Perfect we, G show at gmail.com. Exactly. So please keep sending us your questions. We do appreciate all of them. We try to get to as many as we possibly can. This question is from a listener who had an actual conversation with me as well, but I wanted to give a chance for you to answer this question from Olivia O. Yeah. And Olivia O writes... There's a, there's a mouth to ear, so this is like the real deal. This wasn't even an email. This is from the streets. This is like a DM. No, she DM'd me. Oh, this is like, I don't know the story. She, she really wrote me like, hey, I, I listened to the show and I want your advice, but she gave me a lot of random details about this that I can answer as it goes on, but this is the initial question. Here okay. it is. I come from a very strict home. I met this guy and we were talking. I fell in love and lost my virginity to him. She's a little older, too. Not too old, but like at like 23. Okay. Yeah. We got into a fight, and we went on a break. And he kind of ghosted her a little. Okay. I met his brother online in order to keep tabs on him, and we met up. I didn't tell him who I was. We spent time together and ended up hooking up together. Whoa. They fucked. The first guy came back, and we got back together. The brother and him spoke and figured out that I was the same girl. Duh. It was a big fight. I finally got back good with my man, but texted the brother, I hope he understands, and I didn't know. My man got so mad that I texted the brother that he kicked me out, and that won't answer my calls or texts. I'm willing to do anything to make this work. Is there anything I can do? Now, here's a good thing, a note that you should know, is that... She denied knowing that that was his brother because they don't have the same last name. So she denied knowing that that was his brother. And then, she said she tried to keep tabs on him yeah, that way. Yeah, she did on the low, but she never told either one that she knew that right, they were brothers. Right, but she knew or, that that was... She did, yeah. but she denied it to them. So yeah. that, mm. that might not be a piece of information he knew. He just knows that she did actually hook up with the brother. Right. Um, wow. As far as her situation right now, I mean, like, I feel like she's just kind of digging herself in a bigger hole, like, continuously. Um, I would want to speak on behalf of the guys, but for her, I think that she should probably find a fresh start with somebody else because this is, it's just going to get worse. If she actually thinks that there's going to be something serious and he at no point in his life is not going to think about the fact that she fucked her, his brother... That's just not going to happen. It's going to be there in the back of his mind no matter what. So the best piece of advice I could give her is to actually move on and find somebody else. I think that's solid. I agree with that advice. Here's my take on it. Thank you. First of all, your issue is between that person and you, your man and you. And if he ghosted on you, I understand that you want to try and get back into his life. But to involve his brother, yeah, it's wrong. And then to hook up with the brother, yeah. You know, if you really love your man, then why would you put him in a situation where you could ruin his family life? But that's not love. That's just a need of attention. And I felt like going in with all due respect. It seems like your intentions were a bit self-centered. Uh. You were kind of thinking about yourself. And not the man or his family. And at this point, I think it's best that you respectfully bow out. 
and allow this family to recover so you don't get in between the two brothers anymore that's interesting see i really appreciate your guys's perspective on it because i had a different take on it and mm -hmm. it's like and you were like with all due respect and it's like great uh my take is bitch you a hoe and let me explain <laughs> oh how this works right and there's nothing <laughs> wrong I wanted, I say. there's nothing wrong <laughs> with your hoe and like own it but yeah, just know sure. that you did some whole shit like what you did was you were with some dude and then you fucked his brother now look Look, and we're going to get into this in our topic today, but fucking brothers, that's when you're off. Like, that's unless they're into that, quote unquote, and I don't judge people who are into things. Right. But I don't like when it comes to that principle, I have no problems with that. If that's what you were into, I get it. But fucking a brother, fucking an enemy or fucking a best friend, we have to. That's a conversation. That's, right. That says a lot of, to me about who you are as a person. Absolutely. And I can never trust you. And it's and, and like for you, uh, uh, Yasmin is like loyalty is an important thing. Loyalty is a concept. I don't even think people who quote unquote cheat are always unloyal. It's the way you do it or go about it. Absolutely. Like there are a lot of people who cheat with respect and it's an understanding between a couple, and that's their business. It's not my business. But then there are people who cheat, and you like especially guys who are pieces of shit. They cheat by a guy fucking the girl's best friend or worse the girl's worst enemy and you know right. this yeah and you're doing the work like yo it's not even that you cheated it's that you made me look so stupid she made him look so stupid Ultimate and then came four. back in got back in for a second and, and then, then texted like yo you need to cut that but like no comment you're you can't let everyone like you sometimes you just got to be the villain you got to be hated. Yeah. But what's what's surprising here, my question to y'all, I, I want your take on this. So it seems like her man was more mad about her texting the brother to try and clear it up no. than he was about sleeping with the... No, no, no. No, because no. he didn't know. He didn't know that, that she, she knew. knew. He was already mad, and then he let her back in, and then she did one more thing. But, See, yeah. you got to you gotta let the wound heal before you cut it again. But also, for for the man, if, if this is someone you love and you want a long-term relationship with, are you going to be able to live with the fact that she slept with your That's brother? That's what I'm saying. That's a, there's no way you can forget that. I'm not even mad ends. at her. I'm not on even mad at her. Ends. I'm just annoyed because she doesn't understand why he blocked her or he's not communicating. It was like, yo, you fucked his brother. My, hey, listen. <laughs> You fucked his brother. And you know what's she worse? She could have come and asked this question like when he ghosted sweetest... her and didn't know what she wanted exactly. to do. Like, how do I get him to communicate back with sweet, me? And she seems like a sweet, genuine girl. And I understand, especially girls, I feel like, who lose their virginity later in life, they get caught up because that's the way that they feel. That 23 is later in attention. life? 23 is later in life when it comes, especially in the world yeah. today, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now, my dude, it's like, it's really bad out there. They're 13 year olds just sleeping with their teachers. You know what I'm saying? Like kid 13 year olds, boys. So it's like, it's just like, and I respect that she was, she waited. You should wait until you're ready, no matter who you are, no matter what age it is. It doesn't matter if you're you're 18 or or 68. Wait until you're comfortable. But the concept is, I feel like she got caught up. She needed someone to replace it. And she felt like the brother's probably a little similar, and she just got caught up in that situation, and it sucks. And now you lost your virginity, you had sex with your first person outside of that, and now you're dealing with your first heartbreak. And that's just how life goes. And also, you just gotta deal with it. I also feel like there's some sort of like forbidden element too that makes it kind of exciting for her, yeah. you know, because you know that he's his brother, yeah. right? And you know that you shouldn't. But the fact that you shouldn't kind of makes it exciting to do it, yeah. you know? And that shit can bite you in the ass, especially 100%. a move like that. So 100%. she got a few lessons in one, but yeah, definitely she needs to bow out and find another person. So in, in our show, we love to, sharing is caring. We all know that. We all know sharing secrets is the best way to have people know about you. Today's sharing and caring secrets is about you. Mm -hmm. Worst sex you have ever had. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, hold on. I got to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you had to ask that question and not me. <laughs> Don't be bashful. Okay. Um, well, we're, I'm not going to give too much details about the guy because. I don't need case. to know the guy, yeah, but we want to know what um, made it really bad, too. So, you know, I feel like oftentimes guys project things, and so he kept telling me in bed, you know, you're so beautiful. I wish you knew how beautiful you are. I wish you, you know, were more confident. 
And then he had a hard time staying up because of it. And I'm like, wait a minute, maybe you need to be more confident. Don't put that on me. I'm completely fine. And he had a hard time, like he couldn't touch me without like having a hard time getting it back up. He couldn't, he, I, I asked him like, you know, just go ahead and slap an ass. It's fine. Get, get rowdy. Maybe that'll help you. And he, he got really timid. It's like something that kind of affected him. And so it was an on and off, consistent on and off sexual experience. And it was really frustrating. It's frustrating. It could be frustrating. Uh, and, and a lot of guys get really, you know, it's interesting. A lot of guys get really um, insecure about that because you want your body to work and sometimes it has, and then the more you think about it, it's kind of like if you need to go to sleep and you're like, I need to go to sleep, I need to be up early. And the more you think about how much you need to go to sleep, the longer it takes you to actually go to sleep. Right. But normally you would have just already been asleep. Right. And it's very similar. So, yeah. And it sucks. But don't because, put it on me though. Yeah. That's and then what you I'm blame yeah. a lot of guys. Well, that's another thing guys do often is we blame girls for problems we have. We blame the girl because. Like, with a guy, I'm never going to cut myself. This is my movie. I'm the star. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to cut myself from my movie. Right. So I'm going to blame you for not being able to do X, Y, and Z. But, but how was he blaming? So when he was doing the positive affirmations, that was It wasn't his... a positive affirmation. He was it's telling neg, me that bro. I'm not. He's saying that I should be more confident. I should love myself more. I sh I'm so sexy. I'm so a, this, but... Oh, uh, it's like a backhand. Like, it is back because you're not, you're not doing this, this, and this. Like, wait a minute. No, that's not the situation yeah, like, here. I'm about this life. I'm, I'm, so, I'm chilling. Okay, so was he trying to compensate, would you say, during the act for his lack of performance by saying, you should, you should, and then he's unable yeah, I think it was that. I think it's also like I was saying, he's projecting because maybe he he's not as confident in himself. You know, I'm sitting there, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm having a great fucking time. Yeah. You know what I mean? But somebody constantly telling you, you know, I wish you were more confident. You know, I wish you believed that you're this sexy. What are you saying, bro? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, I'm fine here, which I think that that was the main problem with him kind of not being able to great, hang great, up. Great effing time. That was a really good pun. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I get it our now. topic today actually relates kind of to our question about things being off limits, except we want to see different perspectives on it. Uh, our topic is, well, with Stevie J and, and Faith Evans, if you know who they are, Stevie J is a well-known producer. He was on Love and Hip Hop and all these shows. And Faith Evans, of course, a singer who was married to Biggie. They're getting married. And the concept is Stevie J and Biggie were really good friends. Mm -hmm. And Stevie J made a comment that Biggie would actually be happy that they're getting married. But their friends and family are really upset about what's going on. Mm -hmm. What is off limits when it comes to dating friends? And what side should friends take when this happens? Well, in regards to that situation, like, look, I'm sure we all wish Biggie was still here, but he's not. And when you go through a loss like that, you guys can get really close and lean on each other for whatever. It's been a long time since Biggie has passed. So I think that their family should actually be happy that they found someone in the midst of it and kind of move on from that point. When it comes to today and relationships and your friendships, I don't think there's so many people in this world that if my ex, you know, um, if we're all still alive, we're all here on this earth, I don't care how close you get. If you're one of my friends, if you're hooking up with my ex, it's done. There's no way I would ever communicate with you again. And I don't th I think that no matter what, no matter what. So even if it was like someone from five years ago, someone from five years, there's so many people. I mean, it also says something about you, I think, as a person, too, because it's like, what you actually connected with this person. I know exactly who this person is. I was with him for, you know, however, you know, so. How close of a friend? What if it's an acquaintance that maybe you, through your group of friends, hung out with one time and they go after your ex? Is that still off limits? No, I wouldn't really care at that point. Because at that point, it's like, I don't care about the person enough to make them a close friend. So why would I care if they dated somebody? How close of an ex? What if it's someone you've, like, kind of hooked up with, but, like, that was it. It was just like a hookup once or twice. Am I wanting to hook up with him again? No. Then yep. I won't care if it's just a hookup. But yeah. how are the friends supposed this is to know? Because this is so real. Like, Yeah, but how are the friends supposed to know if you want to hook up with him or not again? Because if they're your friends, you guys talk about things. You talk. So, you're, so when you're, when you're saying, yeah, boom, boom. That talk is, about that's it. Very that's very telling. Because you, you should telling. tell 
before anything goes to that point. Yeah, let yeah. people know. It's kind of like, hey, Just I'm like, throwing I this out there. Just like I should let them know that I hooked up with them so they know. So yeah. if I see my, and this happened one time, I was at a bar with my girlfriend. This guy walked in that I hooked up with before. Were we kind of like hooking up mm -hmm. still? I don't know, maybe here and there. And she saw him. She's like, he's a good looking guy. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, like, have you hooked up with him? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to give you that information that I have. And if you hook up with him, know that I have hooked up with him, you know? But you were cool. But I was cool. But it was a conversation. It was but it was okay. a conversation. It was like, okay. a decent but, conversation. But let, me, let me flip it. If I'm in a bar with Tehran and a girl walks in and he's like, yo, just to let you know, I hooked up with her. I'm staying far away. Because that's, well, that's, that's the bro choice. code. That's the bro Yeah, code. but that's right. also guys. Like, here's the thing. With guys, hooking up means a lot more than it does to a lot of girls. For the simple fact that even in, in rap, what's the worst thing a guy can do to... What, what's the worst thing a rapper can do to another rapper? Speaking of Biggie... <laughs> it's not shooting. It's not... It's, I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. I'm just not into it. I don't want to be the second one that they hook up with. Now, if I'm the first one they hook but up to with, be fair, I'm chilling. Can I say something? You have a lot of friends, bro. I do. Like, I you have, have a so lot much, of friends. Which makes so many so guys off limits yeah, for me in my that's head. That's difficult. That's difficult. If you have that many friends, you know, it's a lot of management. It's a lot of people to tell, hey, I hooked up with him. I still want to hook up with him. Come on, there has to be some sort of, like, line drawn here and what if it's like right? you have a connection what if it's actually a person and, and here's the thing by the way i'm 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 playing we're playing devil's advocate yeah. simply mm -hmm. because we actually kind of agree with you yeah in the most parts i will say this i had a friend that uh was dating a girl and she broke up with him mm -hmm. and he was for the for his friend mm -hmm. and she started dating that guy okay and he was and the original friend was very upset and i was like yo I understand that. Let's let's be fair though. You were like messing around and her and him connected. That's I, I wasn't cool with the guy anymore at all. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yo, then they got married and now they have three kids. And I'm like, mm, now you kind of have to be like, sh he took like they were more meant for each other than you were. Yeah, but he was messing around. There's like moral codes that go into this that yeah. are so many different levels. Like you know, my ex cheated on me. Could I hook up with any of his friends without having a care in the world? Absolutely, fucking absolutely. I can. Absolutely. There is nothing that he could say really? that would stop you me. Could? From doing. I, I absolutely think that's wrong. could. Would I? Think I? That's wrong. No, because I'm not interested. Uh, yeah. Do you understand? Uh, but, uh, could, yeah. but could I? Yes. But would, if he cheated but would on me. you if you were interested? If he had like a really hot friend? I mean, it has to be like really, I'm really into what I really, See, really want to do. Know. Because I, I don't want to deal with the repercussions of my own guilt the next day. I don't care what he thinks. I don't care about hurting him. It's me. See, no. see, my thing is if you have like a bad experience with someone, when they go low, we go high. You know what I'm saying? So sure. If they cheat on me, like I don't have an interest in now engaging their social circle or community. That It is what it is. I'm not going to hold the bitterness. I'm going to remove myself. And I feel like if I am going and deliberately hooking up with that person, that girl's friends now, I almost haven't let go of her or what she did to me. And I'm still, in a way, vindicating what happened. And I think that that's wrong. I like to just let go, move on. There's so much more of out course, there. Of course. There's so many know? other... Well, I'm just saying that you have the right to. The right if to. If they cheated on you, see, you have the see, right to do what a, you want. Here's the thing, right? So let's say you're with someone... For five years. Mm -hmm. And in that five year span, they have a mistake. And they it wasn't like a repeated thing. They cheat on you once. Okay. And they apologize for that mistake. It doesn't happen again. I still think it's morally wrong to then go hook up with their friends. Mm. You don't... Th well, okay. So, I agree with you, mm -hmm. but... Again, it's not something that I as a person would do. Because but she's of the just moral, saying that she could do But it. that you could right. do it. She wouldn't do it, but she right. thinks that yeah, if she this, found out someone did yeah. it, like she wouldn't blame Like if my friend came to you and was like, this dude was cheating on me for nine months, you know, while we were together looking at houses, we were about to get married. He cheated on me with a stripper. And, you know, I happen to like one of his friends. The stripper's see, not as bad. The no, stripper, stripper's not, stripper's as, bad. not as bad. If he had slept with Cheat, not one of his friends. For nine months. One of the friends. Yo, for that's nine I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's not as bad. It's Listen, not as bad. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. That long, it doesn't matter who it's with, Let me explain. whether it's a stripper no. or not. Strippers are people and too. And tip matters and who it is matters. Now, I'll explain. I'll explain. 
Murder is wrong. We know that, right? right. Murder is wrong. However, there's a difference between murdering someone that owes you 20 bucks, mm-hmm. okay? Murdering someone that called you a stupid or a little bitch. Mm-hmm. Murdering a random old lady who was walking down the street. Mm-hmm. Or murdering a, 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 a Jewish guy at a synagogue and being like, because he's Jewish and I'm racist. We're right. looking at it at like, yo, the levels of murder. Murdering for someone for 20 bucks, wrong, but not as wrong as <laughs> murdering on. the Jewish guy in that simple, like, yo, you're Jewish, I'm a, I, I'm a racist. Like, like a random, we like realize. someone who never did anything to exactly. you. Exactly, like we're looking at it. So look, well, what I'm saying is stripper, cheating on with stripper while you're about to get married, wrong, No, no. But no, no I mean, no, that's no. Warren, you fucking my parties friend. happen all the time, no, right no, no, before no. the wedding. doesn't warrant no. fucking my friend. What the no, right, I'm not saying. bachelor party. But you miss the whole thing. You're thinking about a bachelor party. I'm talking I'm just, about a it situation. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does matter because it if he's been matter. cheating on her for nine months with the said stripper, stripper. that same person, okay. she has the right to do whatever the fuck she, she wants. Not within reason. Within What's reason. What's the reason? There's no reason Even anymore. When we say eye for an so eye, we don't say that? eye for an eye, a, a leg, and a stri- and a, stri- a lamb. I'm not saying and go stab out, you send an no. arrow, Cupid's arrow, to his best friend. I'm not. What I'm yeah. saying is, no. if something happens. Oh, well, Look, he's a hoe for cheating with the stripper. Absolutely. She's a bigger hoe if she sleeps with one of his friends. Way bigger hoe. Way bigger hoe. There's I don't no know how you can manage to judge that. Yo, I'm, but, ju- I'm but telling reverse, you how we're judging Let's reverse it, too. So I do also think that if it's a girl cheating, I do think, of course, it's worse for her to cheat on me with my friend than it is with a stripper. Or like, yo, you right. cheat on you're, you, you're, look. So, so let's, okay. No, so, it's not okay to hook up with anybody's yeah. friend. That's what we started off at. But, but that's worse. That's worse. worse. We're, we're dating. You hook up with some UFC fighter that I don't know, but mm-hmm. it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. And then I go and sleep with your best friend. No, that's worse than you sleeping with some random UFC fighter. This is not her best friend, the stripper. I'm this not, is yeah, a it's, stripper. It's definitely she worse, but know. I can't be mad about it. You definitely can be more mad about I it. I don't think so. Definitely way uh, more I, mad. I, would, I see it I differently. Would, off limits. I, I see it. Well, again, yes, it's off, off limits. limits. It I, is. That's we actually, started there. I have to but disagree with your 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 moral equivalency of what it can be. <laughs> it is <laughs> not. <laughs> it is not the same. Let's think about it. Let's think about it in other terms, right? Yeah, yeah. What's so another term? Yeah. Another term. So another What's term. What's another is, term? Another term. I'm gonna try and make an analogy. You're gonna help me. Because I'm mad right now. Like I'm mad like you did this shit to me. I'm mad like you did this to me right now. So, well, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> so so what's worse? What's worse? Your husband, let's say you're married, your husband goes to a taco truck. Well, that taco truck makes tacos. It's already said that the taco truck makes tacos. So he gets the burrito from the taco truck. Or your husband goes and someone learns how to cook <laughs> just to make a burrito for him and that he eats the burrito, right? There's more of an implication there than the taco truck. This is truck. the worst analogy. I'm going somewhere. I understand where you're going. I understand going where somewhere. you're going. Because, like, let's say the stripper, right? Some strippers, not all strippers, part of just the job, part of what they just do is give lap dances, right? So... If you're cheating with a stripper, let's say it's let's say the form of cheating was a lap dance versus some versus a friend or versus a stripper. That person is just doing their job. The taco person is just making tacos. That's her job. But for someone to go out of their way, right? Stripper's job is to fuck niggas. No, no, no. Who are your friends? No, I'm just like, saying. Okay, part, I'm, part of the job is a lap dance uh, in some scenarios. We're not talking so, about a lap dance. We're talking about nine months. Yo, right? did this happen? Lap is this the thing this that's happened? I'm, I'm telling you the story that so, my friend told me. Okay. So this so, is a real thing. Nine months, yeah. he had a whole other life with this okay. chick, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So there's that, okay. right? Wrong, Am but I not saying, as wrong. But, wrong. Not as wrong. wrong. Now, my thing is, is I'm not going to go and hook up. I'm not going to tell her to go hook up with his friend. Yeah. She's probably not even into any of his friends, yeah. right? But if it happens... I wouldn't be mad at her. First of all, that friend is a piece of shit off the bat, okay? You're done, like, friend? Yeah. Bruh, no one can speak. You're dead in these streets. We already established that. Number two, she's wrong for trying to infiltrate. Look, she could have went. Pick any guy. She could have went with an NFL player, Anybody. anything like that. I would have yeah. understood. But to get into the friend, not only are you petty, and like, but how what good you did is wrong. Though. Like, yo, I mean... This is this is that's, a world where we have lots of friends. I know, but how good of a friend that's is it? Anybody that you know? I mean, that's a t- that's what I'm saying. Like, that's a tough situation. No, it's got to be someone friend, who knows you in and out. It, somebody like, who was a witness to my, your guys' relationship. That's where it's wrong. Here's my definition of a friend. All right, we're friends. I don't even on, have friends. We're friends on all. <laughs> we're friends on all social media platforms. We're friends in real life. 
we've hung out one on one more than one time. Nigga, that's a you're dating this person. No, like, I don't even, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> like this is your boyfriend. This you is, hung out. You're using the word Wait, friend. Did you guys meet? If, I, yeah. if I hang out with somebody one on one, stay on the bumble. If I hang out with you one on one, now you're my friend. You know, because now if you go after. My girlfriend is a problem. That's bullshit. That's like L.A. You have a friend that you hang out with one time and you're like, oh, they're my best friend? No. No, yeah. we don't live like that. We don't, we don't but live that's like what that. I'm no, saying. No. Yeah, it's but like, that's but what I'm saying. Like, but even if you hang out with them one time, no. like we're See, having a conversation. My, Listen. My code is different. I'm going by something called bro, I don't even like bro it if you, code. I don't even this like it coding. if you talk to someone in the same field of people. And I'll explain. I had a friend, <laughs> I had a friend who was like, she was dating the guy. He was a promoter. And then she cheated on him with another promoter. Now, these two weren't necessarily friends, but they knew each other. Okay. And then she, like, tried to come to one of my events. And I was like, nah, like, you have to wait. Like, you're a normal person now. You're not getting special treatment here. Okay. And she was like, why? Blah. And I was like, look, you did this. She's like, well, and I was like, no, it's, you could have, all these people, you could have went, there's an obstetrician somewhere you could have just g off. Okay. But no, you but found they're someone. But friends. You found someone, but you found someone in the same Circle? dynamic. Yeah, it's a dynamic of, it's a level. Especially, these levels become much smaller as you go into the hierarchy of popularity, Don't right? you think that's just ego? Mm, see, that's why I had a pro, like, I can see when people have a problem when, uh, Karuchi dates in certain circles or like and I feel like the same with these with these guys who do it so don't think it's just like gender one way versus no, other. No I don't. What I'm I, saying I think, is if they're not friends and they are promoters. No 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 but they're, but they're promoters. familiars. So familiars How is still familiar? it could because create, it's for, it, like if you date Chris Brown you're, you're not allowed to date Trey Songs. You can't date Trey Songs. It could create if you date Chris rivalry. Brown and you date you date uh, Pete Davidson, mm -hmm. okay, we understand. But if you're dating, if you date future, you can't date Quavo. Like, there, that's like, <laughs> uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're right but, there. Okay, but to, to like, go, to think about it this way, like, I feel like, you know, at, off limit. At the time, Wiz and Amber were like, of that's their marriage, and they're friends now. And then at the time of marriage, they were such a good match. They have a kid, it worked out for yeah. them, they're happy. Yeah. So, you know, Kanye. Uh huh. You know, went after Kim. You're right. You were right. So have, have you heard Amber? that new Kanye Wiz song? Have you heard it? No, I because haven't. they don't have one. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't have one. And that's awkward. And so Kanye and Wiz, who are like now removed, 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 and Kanye no, still brings it up. He but still talks about it. No, no, he, he shouted him out in the song. The no, 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 only no, no. I got respect no, 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 for no, no. is Wiz. Actually, that's not Kanye. true. Kanye went Kanye after Wiz and that. made fun of him, and Wiz went after Kanye. So that's not but actually. After that. No, because he was because it was gonna be a problem. But before, right before that, Kanye talked shit about Wiz and mm -hmm. said, that's why basically I I fucked your fucked your girl. That's why I've smashed Amber before you ever had. Isn't a that what happened with Nas and Jay Z too? Because of Beyonce? It, no, it wasn't Beyonce. It wasn't Beyonce. Who was it? It was this girl, mm, Nas's baby moms. I forget her name. Uh, uh, Khalees? No, um, not Khalees. I, I forget. It's, I know it's, it's, a, it's a girl. She was also like, in, in, in not in the industry, but like a known girl. But I, I don't okay. know. I feel like once someone becomes your baby mom or baby dad, like. Everything's that, erased before. Yeah. I think you gotta you gotta make exceptions. Man, you got you got too many exceptions. Yo, then. You, yo, you have a lot of exceptions. On one side <laughs> you have a lot of exceptions. Yo, Listen, all over the map, I'm, not like mad, I'm not mad that Amber dated Kanye and then Wiz, but I can understand why people would be like, mm, "This is who you are." So that's all I'm saying. Like, and also time can play a factor. And especially here's the thing: I don't get mad because these are these people live in a group of friends. When it comes to like regular us people, right? Yep, different. We have there's a lot of people, right? So here's the thing: sometimes, Good sometimes point. it's okay. Strong. Sometimes Strong. it's okay. Strong. Sometimes when there's enough time and there's no, there's no like things happen in life. We're talking anything five years plus, and also everyone's like, no, we didn't even it didn't even come up. Like that was just a thing. Mm -hmm. Now we're still good. But if you're talking about I cheated on you with the stripper and now you're sleeping with George we have to have a conversation that's not that is unacceptable behavior <laughs> keeps going back like, over this like, also the reason why I don't date Persians off everyone limits. but it's <laughs> off limits it has nothing to do with Persians this is street no, code no but that's a group Persians, that's a group no Persians right? when you it comes to Persians you can't even date another street, Persian but you can't date another Persian you can't date another Persian like no. Persians like there I, I, I had a girl I dated a girl through college 
and she's married and has a kid now and they still go uh, they'll still say like you know how they'll be like her name's Nikki she, they'll be like oh Tehran's Nikki like yo she's married oh and has gosh. a child right. Right. she has a child that's oh like gosh. four or something like right. At this, we. This but that's is like a 10 big. Years ago. It's a big group exactly, of people. Exactly. Exactly. And. But so here's the thing. I like what he touched on. I like what Teron touched on about when he said regular people versus celebrity, right? So, let's look at the population wise, right? There's a right. smaller, smaller percentage of the population that are celebrities. They have celebrities. A large, a larger percent of the population that are quote regular normal people. So when you are a celebrity, you're put into a social circle. You have less to choose from because you're not going to go Basically, back to Basically, don't the be a hoe. Room. Like, I'm so yeah. mad at you right now. Like, why, why are you... Why, why, are you why, are, why are you sleeping with George? Street, it's not allowed. Why are you sleeping with George? That. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even know this stripper. Listen. Me and this stripper are cool. We're just but cool. <laughs> she said she wouldn't, but she could. I said I wouldn't. But she could. But I wouldn't. But she can't. be mad at her if she did. You wouldn't, you could, but should you? Yes or no? No. No. Okay, so we agree. Either. Okay, we're we all, kind of I've been saying but this for I need to talk minutes, about this you guys getting heated. Here's the thing. Because it's happened to you guys, right? It has never happened. It's never happened. Okay, well, Toronto and I have a bro code. Here's the furthest. Here's <laughs> never. The furth- you too, no, but what? it's also never happened me to ex- me in general. Let okay. me explain the furthest. It's gone. But Toronto and I are examples of two men who have a very strict bro code. Okay. We share everything. We know what's off limits. If you've gone as far as DMing someone, off limits. Yo, no. I, off that's limits. a real thing. That's a real thing. But that's how we've stayed friends. You know, right. while our other social circle, they're all like beefing, they're all broken apart. We see Unless friends. It's, a con- it's also a conversation. It's a conversation. We have a conversation. Does it now, matter what the DM is? It yeah, does. It does. It does. And we got a DM, and there was, guys, there was a, a lot of threat. exceptions Yo, here. There's a, there's <laughs> a real. <laughs> but it's, it's not, though. There's, it's a simple, like, it's an overall formula. And once you get the algorithm, you understand You'll it. You'll understand fully. it. Now, there's a real <laughs> threat floating around right now to the Brotherhood, Dakota Brotherhood. There's a DM that went to both of us. Okay. At okay. the same time, simultaneously, and the DM said, "I want to Toronto." Said, "I want you and George at once." And to me, it said, "I want you and Toronto at once." And what we had to do, we made a pact. We shook hands. We had a contract and everything. That that person is now off limits to. We both don't even of hang us. out with that person. We don't even hang out with the person. We don't anymore. Even hang out that with person that person. Now, either one of us can't hook up because they Not expressed can- interest in both of the. At the same time. And just as our question came up earlier from our listener, mm-hmm. you see how that person tore two brothers apart? They were we trying, ain't letting like, that happen. We can't. So were you we guys friends with this code. person before? We yes, were friends with we this were person. Friends. How close? We were pretty cool. Pretty close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. I shot and now this person scene. has, ever since then. So has, what you're saying is, one, you would both not want to have a threesome with each other. No. Correct. And, yeah. Yeah. and two, you wouldn't want to shake up your friendship. A hundred percent. Yeah, no. I won't Because it would bother one of you if the other person hooked up with them? It just makes things weird. It just comes, it makes and we don't weird. need any... Go, go find these guys who are friends for a long time beefing. There's usually something like this in between where they didn't have this strict... Now, I know we've been strict on this show, and I know that you feel deep down inside it's okay to holler at the friends if they cheat. But if you have a strict code... Wait, are you telling okay. me that I'm okay with it? No, no, no. she's not okay with yeah, it, but even if not. you thought it was okay, even which you, you thought, said you wouldn't... Saying, like, even if you thought... We're, we're, look. See, what happens is... <laughs> We're going to we, have to stone you after you know, the show, by the way. Like, I just let you know. It's like a, a wall. Now, a wall now has a bad connotation to it. This is a good wall. Okay, this is a good wall that is I get it. I get it. Bro code is stronger than anything, and that's how it should be. No, but there's girl code, too, and I think this code is not girl gender code? bias. Yeah, I think this code can be shared between friends of all sexes I think and it's, genders. it's and not even about girl code anymore. Let's, I think it's it's with women, it's very different. Either you want to have your friendship with this person for life or you like the temptation of hooking up with a guy of their friend. and oftentimes it's 50 50 you really don't mm. know you could lose a friend after 25 years of being best friends because of them wanting the dick well, you know? that's, like, that's right a little now, pessimistic. i have a really good friend i'm telling you it's a real deal it's not that's pessimistic sad. it's real i have a really good friend right now a really right. good friend Who's been like almost a lifelong friend? Don't break this up, man. Who, this, who's this now hurts dating? Me. Stop. Who's stop. dating someone that I used to talk to? But this we're talking about like ten. What does maybe used to talk to mean? What does used to talk to mean? I used to talk to her. How yeah, did you talk what? to? Her? No, I used to talk to her with my dick. Okay. Okay. And so he's now dating her, and and I'm okay with it, especially like I actually hope that they. They're they're in love, and I hope he marries her. And he's your her. friend. And he's a, a, a great friend. And he's so a, then it happened to you. No, but this is because of how... Because I asked earlier, has it happened to you? But 
I didn't even think about it because it's been so long. But I it has. Even thought of, so time, uh, time is it a factor. It didn't bother you at all. Time no, is it a didn't factor. At all. Okay, at all. At all. It bothered me. It was me. okay. It, it was okay. It bothered me. So you're saying it was cool. I'm encouraging it. Okay. I, so I, you I see now what I'm talking no, look, about. No, no, but this is like this is 15 years There's later. There's always different circumstances. No, but there was 15 so, years later. Like right, this and is you were 15 okay with years it. later, to the point where did he ask you before? Did she ask you before? You know what? I don't know if they asked me, but they definitely told me. Okay, so you had a let, conversation let, let about me it, right? Tell you. Uh, they My had a point to with begin me. with. No, but they had a conversation with me, and, and I, then you were cool to with the point it. Where it actually took me a second to even realize why they're having this conversation with me. Okay. It was on. Yo. He, he, and, yeah. So, so here, here, let's do this. <laughs> what do you do as a friend? What, let's let's talk about this really quick. What do you do as a friend? Who do you choose? as a friend do you get in the middle of this do you choose a friend over a different friend like let's say you're in a situation now it's two friends and and the girl and now you're friends with everybody involved mm. do you stay friends with everyone involved do you choose a side do you just gracefully bow out what do you do well what's what's the problem the problem is you're a friend and you're one person's upset yeah uh -huh. and you it, it, can and, be about anything and he'll be like well are you oh you're gonna go chill with mike and and stacy mm -hmm. and now you're and they're upset if you go chill with them. Mm -hmm. Do you chill with Mike and Stacy? Do you stay friends with Fred? Did Mike? Stay... Okay. Did Fred, for example, introduce me to Mike and Stacy? Ooh, that's oh, a good question. Oh, there's levels to this. That is a good question. Because so if he if he did introduce me to Mike and Stacy, and like he's my homie. It's weird for me to go hang out with Mike and Stacy when he's pissed at them. You know I like what? That. I love what you you're said. You're back in. You're, you're back real on. You know what? Fuck you're back on. Welcome you're back, back on. to the brotherhood. Welcome back. Welcome hey, you back. What, what you Welcome said back. was very bro, Cody. And let me let me tell you this. Teron's obviously a very popular person. So when he introduces people, he introduces through him. He's the vessel. So when you skip the vessel and those two people you introduce hang out, I've seen him just mark them off. Yeah. Just yeah, write them off it's the weird. List. You know, it's like, hey, you know, you're hanging out, but without me, I but introduced I also, you. I don't yeah. hang out with people. I don't hang out with people outside of that. Also, like, I will never go around someone who introduced me to someone right. to the point where if I'm if I'm with a girl or if I'm talking to a girl, I'm really not friends with her friends. Her friends are her friends. Right. So I don't need to be friends with them. I'm cool with them through her. Teron, you were you were there when this happened to me. OK, I had this party get together, brought together all these new people. I was dating a girl at the time. And I brought my other friend. She happened to be a stripper. But according to you, that has, you no, strippers, that has no relevance. According to them. you. According to you, that has no relevance to the situation. <laughs> that old George used so, to. Okay. So my friend is sitting at, at the bar. Yeah. Instead of at the table with all of me. The girl I'm dating is now at the bar with the stripper. And I felt like she was cheating on me with the stripper. Because well, friend. this is my night to shine. You should shine with me. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to reflect All the my girls vitamin been around D him. on you. Okay, right. and this and, isn't even a guy. This is a they, girl. Yeah, she left. I felt like she was cheating on me with the girl who was a stripper. And to make matters worse, they went over. They went over to another guy's table, and they yeah. had drinks. So I invite you to my birthday party in the backyard, but stay and you next jump to over you. the fence and you go have the neighbor's hot dog. Why and not my hot dog. By the no, way, geez, bro. they're vegan hot dogs. Hot dogs. Are you they're hungry? Vegan hot dogs. So listen. What we're getting is the advice to all men and people is communication is key. Have an open and honest conversation. And right. if you feel bad, then know that it might be bad and talk about it. But some people can't have conversations. Some people can't communicate at all. Yeah. And that's the biggest. Actually, a lot of guys can't communicate at yeah. all. They just have a hard time like talking about anything that seems even remotely like it can get to an elevated level of trauma. You know, and so I think that's one of the biggest issues is that like you guys, you're like, wait, you guys talk about it? Yeah, it's girls, we talk about it. Hey, dude, I hooked up with this person. So here's a heads up, blah, blah, blah. Go do whatever you want to do. But mm -hmm. you guys don't talk about it, right? That's the thing. Some I guys talk, talk about, about it too I, much. You know what? I talk about it. He's going to criticize me for <laughs> wearing talk, my heart on my talk about it too much. I have an innate need to emote and let people know how I feel. Okay? That's good. That's my way of can you socially emote, orgasming. Can you emote some words so of the week? I like to orgasm with Teron when I call him and tell him about my social issues. Oh, social yo, I, I, we need a breakup, bro. I can't be with you. No, I need to, we need to see other people. It's you. It's not me. Where can people find you if you want to be found? Also, you're working on this Vlad the Impaler project that's coming up. Sweet. I am with uh, Florian Montanao. He plays Victor Drag um, in, in Creed, Creed 2. two. Yeah. So, you know, a little bit of Team Drago. Sorry, Michael. Um, 
But yeah, we're doing a Vlad the Impaler, which is what Dracula is based on. Exactly. And Florian is Romanian and it's a Romanian story. So very yeah, very cool. excited about that. And you can find me on Instagram or whatever social media, Twitter, the tweet tweet at Yasmin Gazelle, like the animal, G-A-Z-E-L-L-E. Love it. Thank Love you it. so much for being on the show. Hopefully we'll have you back and we'll have to go over some more things to discuss. Um, of course, this is the Imperfect Gentleman Show. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, everything. At Imperfect G Show. Hit us up. And I'm the impeccable and penetrable Teron Von Gosh. We find me at I am Teron all across the board alongside Mr. George Corey Teron. Spell the last name. For That's K H O U R I. Find him on Instagram as well. We are Imperfect, Imperfect Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Remember, nobody's perfect. But, but us. us. We'll see you guys next week right here. Same bat time, same bat channel. Martin on the boards. Yeah, yeah.